What's the backstory to that track? I love it. Um, I was on, I was living on the streets in Belfast and uh, an acquaintance, a friend of mine was, um, we used to work in a bar together up in Antrim Town, which isn't far from Belfast City. I met him when I, when I worked in this bar and, and uh, years later I, I found him in Belfast. And um, so I'm walking past this house on the Woodstock Road one morning and the rain's coming down and, you know, I'm, I have nowhere else to go, I have nowhere to be, no time to get there, you know, I have no house and, you know, he left his, uh, he left his front door open. I seen him walking out of his house, you know, it's like the, the lock that you got to pull the handle up and turn the key at the same time to lock it. Sure. He didn't do that. And I, I noticed him and he, he left. And uh, if, if you're, if you see an acquaintance or a friend leaving a house unlocked and you've got nowhere to go and he leaves, you're, you're going in, you're going inside. <laughs> you've got no other choice. Especially if it's go. raining. You know what I mean? You just yeah. naturally, you just have to. Yeah, you're breaking the law, but you got to do it. So I went in and and uh, I made myself a cup of coffee and, and some toast, you know, and kind of sat in a chair and looked out the window and kind of fantasized what it would be like to have a house, you know, a door and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, for whatever reason, he, whenever I heard him coming home, I ran upstairs and I, I hid in the attic in the loft space up at the roof, you know, and I fell asleep and, and, uh, the next day when I woke up, he was gone. He was away to work or something. And uh, so I have no idea why I did this to him. But I went down and I kind of subtly started rearranging his furniture, you know, like moving pictures oh from and stuff like that, you know. And then whenever he came home, I'd run back up and hide in the attic again. So um, he eventually found me up there and uh, we had a good old fight about it. We're still friends to this day, you know, but that's when I, when oh. I was up in the attic, I, I wrote a couple of songs. One of them was The Rain Came and the other one was Mercy. Wow. So in the attic. Yeah. That's a, so was, how long did you do that for? How long were you in his house for? I was up there for about a month. Like... <laughs> <laughs> holy shit behind his house going who left this here you know he lives alone <laughs> like he's, he's going crazy oh my god uh, that's creepy as hell dude oh my uh, god you know, wow wow it, was, it seemed like the right thing to do at the time you know but yeah, it yeah. Or it probably wasn't the right thing that wasn't in, in the right mind either you know as yeah yeah not back then but um i didn't you wow. know there's no harm there's no harm done I didn't no, that's it. awesome. What a story. Holy shit. Yeah. That's the most original songwriting story I've heard in 920 episodes. Uh, <laughs> you, 